Well, hello, friends. Uh, welcome back to my hacking environment. Um, today, I thought I would implement window resizing by um, by dragging on the edge of windows because uh, currently I don't actually have that. Um, the way you resize right now is that you hold down the, um, the logo button on your keyboard um, and um, right click or right mouse button and drag around. But I would also like it so that uh, like when you hover over the edge of a window, then the cursor would turn into like a little um, resizer thingy, like, I mean, like the one that you get here, right? Um, and then you could initiate a drag that way, or a resize, rather, sorry. Um, so that's what I thought I would do now. Um, so let's go and look at WS window frame. Um, uh, da, 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 da. And um, so window frame, uh, of course, is the class that um, holds a window inside it and paints the, the border, the title bar, the buttons, and so on. And um, uh, also handles the mouse interaction. So uh, this, of course, is mouse interaction. So we're going to uh, go in on mouse event here and uh, say that. Um, ba, 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 ba. So da, 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 da. we got to find out uh, which corner we're in, I guess. Um, so if it was a title bar event, then um, we're good at that point. But um, otherwise, we're going to want to find out what corner it is. So I have some code for the corner stuff in the window manager code. What's it called? Corner area? Uh, direction for hot area, right? So I have this code here. Let's just borrow this for now. Um, and what this does is that it um, figures out which uh, it divides the window into nine areas, and um, then figures out which one that you are. Um, the mouse event is inside and of course if we are here in the window frame mouse event handler that means that uh, the window uh, itself did not receive the event so we have to be somewhere in the um, the frame portion Jesus my nose is so itchy <laughs> it has to be somewhere in the in the window frame so it'll be somewhere on the edge or in the title bar and the title bar we already handled up here um, so this will be strictly in the frame part if we are still executing this function. So that means that we can probably just use this um, logic here and figure out the resize direction based on that. So we'll just say resize direction. Uh, yeah, in fact, this could just be auto. Um, okay, and um, actually this should be if, uh, M, uh, wait, hold on, event button is not mouse button right, then uh, just return, because what the hell am I thinking? It should be left in this case. Um, so we'll start with just of being able to initiate the resize and then we'll worry about changing the cursor. Um, so let's see, um, window manager dot um, start window resize. Uh, um, and window uh, event. Yeah, we gotta pass the event. So when the when the mouse event comes into window frame, on mouse event, it's already been sort of retargeted um, into the frame's own coordinate system, so we got it untranslated um, when passing it back to the window manager. This this is like a little bit messy, but um, uh, but that will work. And in fact, we already know the resize direction here. So what the hell is this going to do? It's going to try to figure it out. Um, see maybe I don't need to even compute it actually maybe I, uh, 
let's just ignore this for now and uh, just say it like that. Um, Doser, hello, there we go. Oops, that's a drag, and that's a resize, and the resize never stops. Um, should probably do something about that. Oh, there you go. But the basic idea, um, at least initi initiating the resize, works. How about up here? Yeah, that works. And how about in the very corner? That works. Okay, we just gotta have a way to stop the resizing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we normally stop the resizing? M resize window opener. Okay, so if you get a mouse up and the event button was a mouse, right? Um, okay, so we should probably just remember which mouse button initiated the resize. Mm -hmm. um, okay, M resizing mouse button. Mouse. Uh, resizing button, resizing mouse button. I don't know what a great name would be for that one. Um, let's just go with this for now. Where's mouse button? In mouse. Wait, hold on. Enum class mouse button. Um, what's this? Okay. Um, we can't have that here. Why? WS message. Oh, I can just. Like, that's fine. Okay. Um. And then whenever we have a resize, then we should we start a resize. We should remember which mouse button did this. So start window resize. Um, where are you? Here you are. Okay, so at the bottom, let's put it here. Event button. This is now going to be that and. Process ongoing window resize. Um, this is where we stop resizing, so we'll say mouse button none. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see um, if that does the trick. Oops. Let go, and it stops resizing. Oh, this one is a little tricky to aim at. Oh, you gotta hit. I don't know how many pixels you have there. I guess um, two or three pixels. So it's a bit of a bit tight. But if we change the cursor, it will be much easier because then you know when you're over the right area. So that's what probably what we should do next. Um, and the way that it decides which cursor to use, actually I implemented this in an earlier video, um, is here through the Window Manager Active Cursor Getter. So if there's a resize window, um, which means that there's an ongoing resize, it will pick the cursor based on the direction. Um, but in this case, we would want to show this cursor when we are hovering over an area we're clicking or, or hitting the mouse button would also initiate a resize. So um, how do we how do we put this? Oh Jesus, I got some tea on my trackpad. Alright, whatever. 
Um, let's see. So I guess we would just say if we have a resize direction, uh, we can just ignore having the window and not do anything for resize direction none. And then we can just sort of, oops, we can sort of preheat the resize direction uh, whenever you're hovering over uh, this area. Um, that, would, that would start the resize. Um, and uh, that would work, I think. Uh, okay. So, um, WS window frame again. Let's look at frame. Um, and we would be here then, as so we don't have a button down. So we'll say if event button, if event, let's say event type. Um, event type. Ah, HE knows if event type is mouse, so WS message, mouse mode. Um, and the, well, now is when we're going to need this code actually. So we'll do this, and um, we should share this code somehow, but uh, let's not worry about that right now. If it's a mouse move and um, wm.m, um, well, it should be a button with mouse move actually, because if we have, if we get a mouse move with buttons set, um, then that would mean that we're in the middle of a like click and drag, and we don't want to signal that we um, can start a resize from that state. So let's just do it this way, um, and we would have to say invalidate cursor as well. Okay. Ah, we crashed, I think. What happened, dude? Outer wrecked. Window frame on massive movement. Hmm. Assert that the outer wrecked contains the event position. Uh, but the outer wrecks. Oh, I see. So this logic doesn't exactly translate here. Mm. Is the rect in my coordinates? No, it is not. Uh, okay, so we'll say something like zero. So the rect in this case is the, um, the WS window frame rect in um, screen coordinates. This is something that, that I find kind of confusing a lot of the time is like which coordinate space is a given um, rectangle or, or point in. Um, I would like to I would like to solve that somehow, like where at where it would be unambiguous at compile time. Maybe maybe by adding like a dedicated classes that would sort of just be. Um, like empty subclasses that that's just to, to carry that information um, around uh, with the type. I don't know, just just for me, so I could see which coordinate space it was in. I don't know. Um, something to to think about in the back burner. But anyway, so now we have the rectangle in our own local coordinate space, um, and. Maybe that's actually all that we needed. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it stays that way, right? Because we never reset it. Right. So, how do we know to reset this? We know this because we how do we know they left this thing? We would know that um, resize direction. Maybe we need to register ourselves actually 
that um, if we're mouse moving and we're doing those, um, I guess we should have a resize candidate. Can I make a weak putter out of myself? Um, okay, let's let's add a little helper for this. So say set resize candidate um, and pass the direction along to it as well. Um, and we will add a weak putter in this window. Um, resize candidate. Um, Yeah, uh, let's see, to resize direction, okay, and then actually we should be passing the window, not the window frame here, uh, okay, and then, hmm, This window manager. Size window or and besides candidate. So damn it. It's control I not whatever else I was pressing on. Okay. And then we gotta clear that candidate at some point. Um Hold on, let's just actually add that function as well. It's a precise candidate, okay. Window dot make quick putter. Precise direction. Direction, okay, and then. Um, Process mouse event. So this is where we end up for every single mouse event. All of the handling starts here. So um, what we want to do here is figure out um, if it was a mouse move and we were anywhere not, we didn't, we were not touching the resize candidate. Um, Let's see. So here is a window frame that contains blah 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 blah. So if um, window is not a resize candidate, no, no, hold on. If, if this is the resize candidate, then we're all good. Otherwise, we're in a new window. So then we would have to say and resize candidate and all better. So if we are sending the mouse event to any other window, then that. Um, Okay, so we're good when we go to another window, right? But then we go here, and uh, we don't actually change here. Hmm. This is kind of interesting, actually, the way that it looks. Um, we need to do this also when you're not touching any window. Um, if 
and it does so if no window took the took the thing. Let's see. Does this does this make sense? If no window uh, received the event, then we clear the candidate as well. Um, this doesn't look like what I wanted actually. Event window. Oh, because I'm on the frame. Right. So, I'm touching the frame. I don't like the way that this is factored. Um, how do I want to do this? goes in here and it's not going to be set because uh, we're clicking we're hovering the frame not the window so we end up clearing the resize candidate here when we don't want to uh -huh. so we set it here and then clear it here I guess we could do something like Yes, window, uh, window. Uh, window frame. Could do that. Uh, window um, frame. Yeah, and uh, I'll just set that here. No event window. So there's no event window, but there is an event window with frame. Do I feel good about this logic? I don't know. I guess it's pretty okay. So we keep that cursor in the title bar. We gotta work on that. But um, this is kind of neat. Let's see. So when you go here. It switches around here. It's kind of interesting. I like this thing that it changes the um, direction based on where you are. It's kind of neat. Oh, we just have to fix the behavior inside of the title bar. Because as you can see, like if you activate the cyclone and then you mouse down through the title bar, it keeps that thing even though we're no longer over the edge. Um, that will be in the window frame. So we're here. And if we're in the title bar, then we gotta tell the. Um, we gotta tell the window manager to clear resize candidate. Um, maybe I can do it from here actually. But mm, I'll, I'll do it over there in the window manager. So let's say we 
right, and put this here. Guess this is pretty sane. Um, we'll just make a little helper for that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Ooh. Was my last file. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Okay, so. Oh, you can resize starting there. Oh, it's kind of funny actually. From the bottom of the title. <laughs> um, do I want that? It's kind of goofy, but at the same time, it is kind of cute. Probably I don't want that. It seems like a little bit random. But I like this effect. Okay. So. Mm, it's so charming, actually. <clears throat> oh, wait. No, it's not even letting me do it right. Oh, oh, this is actually a resize. It's just that it doesn't allow itself to get smaller. Mm. Oh man, I can do this. I could do this for a while. Mm. Well, should we allow this thing? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it. Now and then, if I find it really weird later, I'll maybe change it. Oh, I noticed that I have some uncommitted stuff. I'm just gonna remove this from this patch. Just added some screen resolution hacks before. Uh, okay, let's look at this patch now. So, what do we really have here? Uh, when you Enter the title bar, we clear the resize candidate. And after we're done processing the title bar event, then we just return, that's cool. Um, bum, bum, bum. And then here, if we get a mouse move with no buttons, no buttons, then we figure out the, which corner we're in, and then we um, set this window to the manager window manager's resize candidate. Um, which will cause it to use a different cursor. That's why we invalidate the cursor. And then here, uh, we could write this slightly differently, actually. We could just say that. Uh, OK. Then, oh yeah, so this was the code that keeps track of which mouse button initiated the resize. So that we know we know which mouse up to wait first. That was here when we're processing the ongoing resize. Whenever we see a mouse up from the button that initiated the resize, that's when we cancel the resize. That's fine. And here, um, let's see, resize candidate is null. Right. So just to clear resize candidate. Right, so here in the big mouse event processing, we um, this is the window. If if the, um, we hit the frame of the window, then this would be stored in this pointer here. Uh, so let's see if the window that we are over is not the current resize candidate, then we remove the resize candidate continue processing. So we may end up setting a new resize candidate. That's fine. Um, and then uh, if we hit the frame, then we save which window we hit. And then if we hit a window frame that is not the resize candidate and we have a different resize candidate, then we get rid of 
the recess candidate. That's cool. Um, and then in active cursor, if we have a resize window or a resize candidate, then we uh, change the cursor. Okay, I think we can keep this. We don't need the assert not reach there. And then setting the resize candidate is just a matter of uh, getting a weak pointer to the window and saving the direction that we computed. Yep, 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 yep. And these are just uh, set and clear and the two members that we were using. Okay, I guess this is fine. Um, let's see, Windows Server. Oh, allow. Add the ability to initiate window resize uh, from window edges. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Okay, uh, let's just try it one more time. Oof, look at that. Mm. It's a little finicky with this trackpad. Maybe there should be a fudge factor or something, I don't know, but uh, this is pretty good for now. Mm. I do like it. Um, and we have this cute effect here where you can drag the below the tile. Uh, mm, it is it is a bit cute. I'm I'm keeping it for now, but I might change my mind later. Um, okay, so I guess that's the feature done actually, and uh, that about does it for this video. So. If you made it this far, then I thank you for watching, and uh, hope it's a, hope you saw something interesting, and I'll see you next time.